Welcome back to Learning Analytics Tools course. This week we will continue on predictive analytics. So, we will discuss naive Bayes classifier and addition to the uh, classification algorithm in this week. So, naive Bayes classifier is a probability classifier. Um, the output will be probability of uh, getting uh, pass is some probability like 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 and it is very widely used in test categorization. So, it is one of the supervised algorithm uh, because we have to give the label also not only the x, we also have to give the y. So, we know what uh, to be done like a classification whether you have to predict pass or fail or you have to predict uh, whether the student will uh, continue in the course or not something like that. So, it is based on Bayes theorem that is why it is called naive Bayes. So, what is naive? There is a naive assumption here that is very important in the Bayes theorem. Bayes theorem is very simple, uh, you might have used it in a probability classes, but uh, this naive Bayes classifier assumes a naive uh, assumption that is the features occurring in this are independent that is the main assumption. Suppose if you try to model the students performance uh, based on their attendance assignment or submission or some engagement in the class, there is something you have to assume that these occurrences are uh, independent. Okay. Although it is not possible you know the student has to be attending the class to improve the engagement, but the naive base makes this assumption that is a naive assumption. So, you can think of uh, other uh, features like in MOOC a student logging in, student interacting with the forum, uh, student watching video these are independent because uh, not every student is going to interact uh, with forum or something like that. So, this assumption is the naive assumptions in the naive based theorem. So, let us start with the activity uh, before we jump into what is naive based theorem let us see what is conditional probability you just to brush up your uh, memory. So, there are two independent uh, uh, events sorry there are two dependent events A and B uh, if two events are dependent given this kind of diagram what is the probability of A given B that is what the probability of A occurring given B already occurred. Can you write down the formula for conditional probability you know this Venn diagram intersection joint all those things. Can you use that uh, just to write the conditional property of this uh, two events two dependent events. So, Bayes theorem starts with this conditional theory uh, that is uh, probability of A given B is probability of A and B occurring together given probability of B occurred like a probability of complete B and the joint probability of A and B that is a Bayes theorem. For example, if I want to know probability of student will fail the exam if attention is low. So, that means probability of failure and attention low has to occur the student who are uh, have a low attention also failed in exam a lot of other people might have failed plus given that the probability of B attention occur there is a probability of attention. Um, so, let us see this in a detailed uh, conditional probability. Let us look at the example this is a standard probability sum there is a box which contains 4 apples and 3 oranges out of this uh, 2 apples are defective and 1 orange is defective. Okay. Uh, what is the probability if you pick a defective fruit that fruit will be a apple. To identify it you can apply a conditional probability or oh, it is very simple you know it is uh, it's very simple to answer directly. Let us see what is the probability of apple and it is being defective and probability of defective fruits. So, let us since it is a complete uh, divided by uh, all this fruits involved I am just going to completely ignore everything I am just going to simply apply apple and defective is 2 and the total defective fruit is 3. Okay. There are 3 fruits available defective if you pick to 1 it will be 1 among 3 and how many of them can be apple is 2 out of 3. So, it is very simple probability okay, 2 by 3 because you do not need even think of uh, much there are 3 fruits 3 are defective you know that is out of 3 uh, how many will be apple like a 2 out of 3 that is 66 percentage of uh, chances that fruit will be apple or 0.66 probability. Let us look at the base theorem from the conditional probability. Probability of uh, A given B is probability of A and B that is equation 1 that you can write it that uh, you uh, saw that in the previous uh, slide simple and uh, probability of B by A that is probability of A and B uh, same right because B by A, A but probability of A. If I want to replace this term 
with the uh, uh, other term suppose consider this probability of V by A this term can give uh, probability of B by A into probability of A this is equal to this right I mean like this particular term can be kept and these two can be removed ok. This can be this like probability of A and B sorry. probability of A and B right this is exactly the. So, you can replace this particular statement by this value. So, that is probability of A by B equal to this P uh, this P of A and B can be replaced by this particular term probability of B by A into probability of A divided by this P by of B that is very simple right. So, just have to equation you just have to uh, apply that that is called a base theorem that is it. This is the simple base uh, this is a base theorem and you have a naive assumption on it that we can use as a naive base classifier. Um, that is exactly this uh, equation is going to explain yes probability of A by B or in a base theorem it is uh, exactly the same value. So, base theorem is uh, very simple it is just a two conditional probability it is like a probability of uh, what a probability of that uh, A will occur given B already occurred or gives some value, some value of B is probability of B by A into probability of A divided by probability of complete B like not just the particular uh, probability of uh, uh, event occurring all the possibility of event occurring if it has 3, 4 values all the values to be occurring together ok. That is a base theorem, a simple base theorem can be derived from the conditional probability. You might have already known that but uh, for people who do not know just this is brushing up what is base theorem. So, now uh, even this particular uh, question also can be solved without using Bayes theorem, but I want to apply a Bayes theorem in this. Consider a couple has two children, um, they are not twins ok, um, one of which is boy, what is the probability that they have two boys ok, uh, they have two, two children uh, boys or girls, boy, anything possible. So, uh, boys, 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 girls, girls, boys, girl, boys, girls, something like that. Um, Consider one of which is boys, the first child is boy. What is the probability that they have two boys, second child also boy, something like that. Uh, please write down the answer after writing it down, I assume to continue. So, how do you do that? If I want to do uh, solve it via Bayes theorem, first I need to understand what is the question. So, the question is uh, probability of both children are boys we want to predict uh, this right, what is the probability they have two boys right uh, and given one of them is boy right, one of the child is boy. So, we have to predict probability of A given B ok, what is the probability of both children or boys given there is one children might be one children is boy. So, that is probability of A given B you can simply apply uh, in the base theorem and the b by of a by probability of a into b by a into. So, how this numbers came? Uh, this numbers are very simple right. So, um, probability of both children are boys there are there is only two possible right. So, uh, child 1, child 2, um, first possibility is both are boys, second possible uh, the outcome the, the out outcome space right, the outcome space is one is boy, first child is boy, second child is girl third is first child is girl, uh, second child is boy, fourth is both child are girl ok. So, the outcome the, the event space is only this four events possible you know and uh, I said that there are um, yeah, the first one and second child and are twins all these things I gave. So, given there are four, four possible outcomes in that being both are boys is one ok, that is why it is one by four this is actually this uh, being both are boys ok, it is one by four probability of being one of the child being boy it's like uh, here at least one child is boy this one child is boy and he also one child is boy at least one child is boy out of uh, four the three times this one child can be boy it's simple right so that's answer here so one two three 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 chance that one at least one of them will be boy so now we have to compute this so probability of a is you know probability of a is one by four true now the tricky part you know the tricky part is this one probability of B given A what is B? B is 
probability of one of them being boy given probability of both our children are uh, boys. This is a tricky part you might have missed if you would have answered correctly that is correct. If you would have missed this is an exact tricky point you would have missed. The point is probability of uh, B by A means uh, one, one child uh, is equal to boy given both are boys. You know both are boys matlab definitely one child will be boy right. So, uh, so the probability is 1 simple as it that is a 1 actually if you substitute that the answer will be this. As I mentioned this you do not need to use the Bayes theorem to solve this problem, but I took the simple uh, problems to explain the, the theorems here because uh, that you can understand step by step. So, you can solve without uh, applying the Bayes theorem that is fine, but uh, this is how you can apply Bayes theorem on this kind of problems. Uh, please go ahead uh, and uh, solve more problems related to this uh, probability based problems in the internet and understand how it works that helps a lot to uh, understand naive Bayes theorem. Naive Bayes theorem is just this Bayes theorem only. So, we saw what is Bayes theorem not the naive Bayes classifier in this uh, slide, but it is a Bayes theorem how it is constructed from the conditional probability and I request you to go to uh, solve much more probability problems using Bayes theorem. Thank you.